to the net. I expose niggas, they know all my lenses. Yeah. Facts, yeah. niggas, shower club buckle. They won't do me like buddy at club. Oh, I ain't got my blocky on me, bitch. I got What up with y'all niggas, man? How y'all feeling today, bro? Uh, got another video for y'all today. I'm gonna try to keep this short, but I'm also speak my opinion on how I feel about this shit. You know what I'm saying? First of all, I do want to say this. I apologize that I be so late on dropping videos and shit, bro. Niggas be really going through shit in real life. Uh, you know, I got family issues going on and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm working. You feel me? There's a lot of shit going on, but. Yeah, man, I'm gonna try to work on this on this shit, man. And let me know, bro, if y'all want me to do go live and shit, bro. I ain't against going live. I just don't do it because y'all niggas don't be in there, bro. If y'all gonna be in there, bro, I'll go live, bro, and everything. But if y'all gotta feel me, let me know, man. Leave a comment. Should I go live? Like, let me know something, bro. If you feel like I should, you should you be in there when I go live. You know what I'm saying? How y'all comment? What's that shit called? How that bell turned on, man. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all niggas, bro. But. In other words, uh, we got King Lil J. I guess he out of jail now, bro. What you gonna do, though, man? You gonna keep dissing? What you gonna do, man? You gonna keep dissing, motherfuckers? You gonna make your money, bro. You know what I'm saying? Every time you come out, everything's, you know, you're highly anticipated, bro. You know what I'm saying? You say you're the clout lord, then just, just motherfucking use your goddamn clout, bro. Don't clout chase, bro. And what I mean by that, I mean, like, when I say don't clout chase, I'm saying, like, don't just be sitting there dissing motherfuckers. Like, fuck dissing, bro. We too old for that shit, bro. Everybody in their mid-20s are pushing 30, bro. It's time to go and cut that shit out. Nobody thinks you you the toughest nigga no more. Like, I used to be the, like, I'll be the first to admit. I was the biggest Lil' J fan, bro. Like, literally, I used to be wanted, you feel me? I wanted to be like that nigga and everything. I ain't gonna cap. Then I was a big-ass fanboy at the whole FBG, but more in particular, him. You know what I'm saying? I was, feel me? I'm like, yeah, nigga, that's... You feel me? Everybody used to be like, yeah, nigga, you look like, you feel me? I was just like, damn, nigga, clouded, nigga. But that was some old kids, so you know what I'm saying? I'm 20, about to be 26, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's some old, when I was 15 years old, shit like, but that shit is over with, bro. Nobody's thinking you the toughest nigga no more, none of that shit. Nobody give a fuck about none of that shit. I know you started out bopping out that shit, they switched around, you ain't for none of that, we get it. But nobody gives a fuck about that shit no more, bro. We trying to hear some more. Like, people are older now, bro. We was looking up to these niggas, and these niggas was, like, low-key around our age. So it was like, to us, they was OGs. But when you get older, you realize that when these niggas is still doing this shit, as you done progressed and been through your life, bro, you be like, damn, man, these motherfuckers really retarded as fuck, for real. And excuse my language, I apologize, but nigga, y'all niggas retarded as a motherfucker, bro. Y'all slow as hell, bro. You just too old for that shit, bro. It's time to cut down, man. Y'all got kids. You got a daughter. All that shit. And then, you know, she got to look up to this shit. You you know, it's, it's her that your motherfucking chicks was jiggling on the nigga's pelvis and all type of shit. Like, man, that shit got to stop, bro. This street shit don't bring nothing but exposure and death, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, really think about that shit. It's niggas in my city. It's a nigga in my city. I ain't even going to say no name. But it's a nigga in my city. That nigga was like the streetish nigga, bro, on everything. Feel me? He ended up going to jail. He was facing 10 years. Feel me? He knocked down like eight of them. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. He knocked down like six or some shit. But basically, this nigga got his cheeks clapped in prison. Got exposed all on Facebook and all type of shit, bro. This street shit don't bring nothing, bro. There's, there's nothing positive about this shit. You gotta think too, man. Niggas be backdooring all type of shit. And like, I know a lot of motherfuckers, they might hear the way I talk and be like, oh, nigga, you ain't been through that. Bro, don't judge me, bro. You don't know me, bro. It's just how I talk, bro. Like, for real. Like, niggas ain't been through their own shit. Nigga, I'm in the projects now. I ain't gonna say the projects. This used to be the projects. They, you feel me? They got it together a little bit. It, it's still, this is the hood, though. Like, feel me? Yeah, man, I go through shit too, man. Lights be off sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes car broke down. It's all type of shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I go through my shit, but you feel me? I, I don't let that sit there and turn me into a nigga that's going to go out there and go kill somebody. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I personally don't give a fuck about beef with nobody. That's how I feel, bro. I'm not about to beef with you, bro. You know what I mean? There's no point, bro. Let's all get some money. Let's all stay the fuck out the way. And let's fuck these bitches. And if you a bitch, go fuck these niggas. I'm out this bitch, you stupid bitches. So nah, love y'all though, man. Leave a comment one time.